Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the second largest Arab country in the Middle East. Thanks to its oil resources, Saudi Arabia, once an underdeveloped desert kingdom, has become one of the wealthiest nations in the world. It has the world's second largest oil reserves and also sits on the world's sixth largest natural gas fields. Above all, the vast oil revenues have permitted rapid modernization and the creation of a welfare state. On the other hand, geography and climate create special problems for the nearly 30 million people who live here. Saudi Arabia occupies about 80% of the Arabian Peninsula, and its geography is dominated by the Arabian Desert. There are virtually no rivers or lakes in the country. So, rich in oil and natural gas, Saudi Arabia is poor in water resources. Therefore, the government produces water for its own people from the two seas on both sides of the country. We have more than 26 plants in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The majority of them are in the west coast from Shugeik, southern region, up to the north in Diba area. So in every almost 200 or 300 kilometer, there are multiple plants next to each other. The annual budget of the corporation this year, 2013, it's around $4 billion uh, uh, this year. Most of this one is meant for building new, new infrastructure, new desalination plant, and new transmission systems, such that we will be able to facilitate and deliver water to the right people in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. One of the biggest project was uh, done now, uh, more than 70% is being completed, the one which is in, in between Chugeik plant uh, in the uh, south region, which is Asir region plus uh, Jizan region, which is around more than 900 uh, kilometers of different sizes, but, and that was done by MABA with the joint venture of, of a Saudi contractor, but the main contract was with MABA uh, and they are doing uh, fine. Chukaik Water Transmission Project Phase 2 has a total pumping capacity of 250,000 cubic meters per day. The project starts from the Chukaik desalination plant to the cities of Aba, Samta, Albirk, Rial Alma, Daran al Yanube and Sabt al Alaya and their towns. Along these routes, which MAPA constructed, there are eight pumping stations, 35 steel and concrete reservoir stations, and truck filling stations with a total capacity of 868,000 cubic meters per day. With this project, MAPA laid a 1,000 kilometer pipeline of carbon steel and also completed the construction of a 550-kilometer pavement service road. MAPA is a company which belongs to the MNG Group of Turkey and manages the construction of buildings and infrastructure projects around the world. Abha is the capital of the Asir region. This area, which is located in the southwestern part of Saudi Arabia, near the Yemen border, is a rough country,
complete with mischievous baboons darting across the roads. Mappa's task meant going over the mountains, laying pipelines in order to transport the water from Shukaik to Aba and further on to different parts of the country. You cannot imagine uh, how we suffer to uh, mobilize the equipment there. We have uh, equipment, uh, some of the equipment, it is about uh, one thirty ton. To transfer this one to that uh, location without uh, having any, uh, uh, I mean, uh, surface road, it, is, it was uh, so difficult. I mean, this mountain area, because the uh, curvature of the road, and with the uh, huge equipment, with uh, more length, it is difficult for the trailer to uh, move this equipment. Uh, plus, there is no uh, surfaces there to that area, like uh, uh, communication of STC or mobile, and also there is no other surfaces. You know, this is a remote area, very less people living in that area. Uh, but uh, finally, we succeed and uh, this pipeline already uh, operated and we are pumping and now we have another alternative water supply to uh, Asir region after 20 years from the phase number one of pipeline. We transfer with uh, special trucks, one truck in front, one truck in, in behind and there was also other uh, bulldozers uh, to hold the heavy loads. And every two or three days, we transferred only one search vessel. More than a month it took from us to transfer from upper city to PSA for the search vessels. This is a project that I can just simply say it. It's chokkozal, chokkozal. It's it's a very tedious work, very tremendous amount of effort that has been done. Uh, a task that has not been done uh, anywhere else in the world that has been done tremendously, uh, professionally, and we really appreciate the work of our contractor. And uh, there is one thing that I want to add. Our contractors are not simply a contractor that wants, we want them to work with us as hit and run. No, we will try to build more partnership with our contractors because Ultimately, the success of the contractor will end up to be the success of the water sector in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Northwest of the capital, Riyadh, the tremendous work of the MAPA workers is being carried out. The 270 kilometer long Ras Al Qair Riyadh pipeline starts from PS1 at Ras Al Qair, ends at PS3 at Ad Dana Desert. This 72 inch twin pipeline has a design capacity of 900,000 cubic meters per day. Therefore, it is quite an important project for Saudi Arabia. In terms of terrain after Abha, this may look like a relatively easy task. Since the entire area consists of endless desert, it would seem that laying the pipes couldn't be more difficult than at the Abha mainline. However, when you look at the details of the pipeline, you see the tremendous hard work and expertise required. The Ras Al Qair Rafar Al Batin water transmission system, which is engineered, designed, and constructed by MAPA, is a 354 kilometer pipeline. It has seven reservoir stations along its length, with a filling capacity of 110,000 cubic meters per day. With that project, MAPA were qualified to take two other projects. So this is, I can call it like a marriage relation that you go into the first stages into rough, but later on each, you know, you have to lean in certain points and you have to be harsh. So they have, we have to accept each other. 
No. Normally people look at the pipe as a pipe. But to build a pipe, you need to pave a road, you need to make it very heavy for heavy work and heavy truck to work in, secure, and you need to have cabs also, and you need to have electricity network. It's not just only a wire, it's high tension line to be there, and you need to have security gates, you need to have operation means, boy, this is a kingdom by itself.